So, in my own personal opinion, I think that this week's GTA Online Event Week is actually pretty decent. Um, obviously, there are some people that will think otherwise, but I think, personal reasons, this is probably a pretty good payout week, and I shall explain. But first off, we have got double payouts on all contact missions, plus triple rewards on transform races, triple salaries for associates and bodyguards, and obviously various other bits. Now, obviously the first thing is the two times money for the contact missions. Now, the reason why I think this is pretty decent is because these things are very easy to do and the fact that they are now double money is even better and the bonus is that you can do these things on your own yes some of them do have um, the thing where the longer you take on it the more money you get which is even better if you do it on your own because if you're doing it on your own you're gonna take longer because you're gonna have to be trying to do everything so take advantage of the contact missions being double money get them doing on your own you get some pretty decent money I think the 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 worst one for him to do is Gerald because he doesn't pay as much I think the most is um, it's like I think it's Martin Madrezo I think he does the best but they're all still they're, they're all pretty good and it takes a difference from just casually going around chewing people Obviously also three times money in RP for associates and bodyguards, so if you are in a CEO and you are not the CEO member, your salary will be three times as much. So whatever it is normally, um, you'll be getting three times as much as that and you don't really have to do anything. The only thing is if your CEO leader dies, um, then your salary does go down. Um, so yeah, that is one thing to remember. Transform Races is triple money in RP this week, which again is pretty good because it's like your normal stunt races, but it does involve a few little tweaks. Um, I will do a video on this later on in the week, um, but just a quick rundown on it. Yes, it is like the normal stunt races. You do get to use custom vehicles, but if you have not done them before, every now and again in a race, you will change vehicle. And you have to go through the checkpoint to be able to change vehicle and you can't get any other checkpoints until you have transformed into the next vehicle that you need to be. However, custom vehicles, yes you do get to use them. However, obviously you do you get to pick a custom vehicle at the beginning of the race like you do with any normal race. However, if you are switching to vehicles or if it switches you to a vehicle during the race, if you have a custom version of that vehicle it will put you in your custom vehicle of that so for example one I did yesterday we started off in planes that at some point it switched to oppressor mark ones now I actually have my own um, oppressor mark one so it switched me onto that rather than just a stock one so this is a very good it's also a very good way of being able to test other vehicles um, before you buy them, there are you do get quite a few different, um, quite a few different vehicles that you get to use. Some of them you may not even have heard of or never use. Also, this week you get a free fruit tea. So you just go to the clothes shop, into the t-shirts section under special tops or special teas, whatever it's called, and you will get a iFruit t-shirt with the iFruit logo on it um, nothing really you know it, it's not exactly crazy but it's very simple um, standard white with the iFruit logo on the front but is in a fruit bowl colored rather than just black I think it might have looked better if it was like black and like gray but it's colored but oh well uh, it says think simple play this week to receive a fruit tea the special vehicle is the uh, Lombardati Tigon now I did a video on this when it came out in the new DLC and I will 
um, leave a link to that video down in the description below um, but once again quick rundown of the vehicle yes it's good it looks amazing the handling's a bit it's a bit funny and it does um, understeer a lot if you don't know what that is it's where you turn the wheel and you don't actually turn as much as you would like <coughs> so you have to kind of slow down a bit to be able to get around a corner that you want to do obviously just a reminder all this does end October 14th discount wise we have got 40% off all of the high-end apartments so these are the apartments that you would use to do the um, the original heists in GT online also 40% off all garages so high-end low-end and mid-end all the garages um, all of them are 40% off. I will leave little shots of like price differences on the screen. Uh, and then we've got 40% off the Dinka Sugoi, which I'm actually quite happy about because I wanted to get this. Um, and I will probably do a garage tour video on it. But I did do, again, I did do a full throttle video when it came out. Again, I will leave that in the description below. Also 30% off the JB700W which is the weaponized version of the JB700. If you are not aware the original JB700 that you get when the game released in 2013 was exactly like this but it had guns on the side that did not work and for the longest time we could not get rid of them but then they released the JB700W with, um, well, with the ability to put the guns on it and they actually work along with some other different like spy gadgets with I think oil slick as well but that's about normal price two something million so it's worth getting if you want it now 40% off all of the space weapons being the up anatomizer the Widowmaker and unholy hellbringer along with 40% off the blister kanju which is one of the newer ones and the maxwell vagrant which is newish but not as new as the kanju so that is pretty much all there is for that the premium race is cutting corners locked to supercars the time trial is mount gordo and the rc bandito time trial is construction site one so I think in all honesty this week's pretty good because you've got the contact missions that are very simple to do and you can do them on your own. They're not hugely great money but they are easy quick money. Probably spending about I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes maybe even less on each one if you're doing it on your own. Then you've got the transform races which is a good break from all the adversary fighting modes that we've been having. The free t-shirt and obviously all the discounts with the high-end apartments and garages. So this week's not too bad. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if this video was helpful in any way, then please leave a like if you did enjoy. If you and leave a comment of if you're going to be doing contact missions or transform races, whatever it is you're going to be doing this week, or if you're going to be having a break from GTA Online because this week is not quite what you're after. Then leave in the comments what you're going to be doing with your weekend, what game you're going to be playing if you're not going to be doing GTA. And obviously if you do go ahead and continue and enjoy, then do not forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. No, I did that the wrong way around. Click the subscribe button if you continue to enjoy and then click the notification bell to be notified in future updates or videos I unleash onto the channel. And I will see you all in the next one.